Hi, this is King of Review. Evaluate 0 0.123, where the 2 and 3 have a repeating bar. If we expand this number, we get 0 0.123, and the 2 and 3 keep repeating. So for this problem, what I want to do is represent this repeating decimal as a series of terms. Then we're going to add these terms together using the equation for the sum of an infinite geometric series to evaluate this repeating decimal. So let's look at the first portion of this repeating decimal. The first portion is 0 0.1. So we'll write that down here. And now starts the repeating portion of the decimal. So the first term of the repeating portion of the decimal is here. How would we write this? We could write this as 0 0.023. You can see that if you add 0 0.1 plus 0 0.023, you get this portion of the decimal. Now for the second term of the repeating portion of this decimal, that would be here. How do you represent this portion? We represent it as 0 0.00023. And next we're going to represent this portion. This will be A3. This is 0 0.00000023. And you could keep going. So you're breaking this repeating decimal into a series of terms. And next we're going to add these various terms together. This will give us the sum. And to find the sum, we'll use the equation for the sum of an infinite geometric series. This formula is S equals A1 over 1 minus R. So the next step is to find R, which is the common ratio. The common ratio can be determined by A2 divided by A1. This is 0 0.00023 divided by 0 0.023. And when you work this out, you get 0.01. So the common ratio of this portion of our series is 0 0.01. Now we still have to add this very first part of the equation that isn't a repeating decimal. So we'll come up with the sum here and then we'll add to it the first part of this repeating decimal which is 0 0.1. So let's figure out the sum portion here. So A1 over 1 minus R. A1, that's this term here, is 0 0.023 divided by 1 minus R, which is 0 0.01. And to that, we're adding 0 0.1. This term here, again, that's this first portion of the decimal before it starts repeating. So now, this is equal to 0 0.023 over 0.99 plus 0 0.1. And now let's combine these. We get 23 over 990. So I multiplied this fraction here. I moved the decimal place three spots to the right, so I multiplied it by 1,000 on top and bottom, and then we're still adding the 0 0.1, and this equals 23 over 990 plus, and now I'm going to represent this portion as a fraction, so that's 1 over 10, and the next step is to find the least common denominator so that I can combine these fractions. So I have 23 over 990 plus 99 
over 990. And when you combine these, you get 122 divided by 990. So this number here represents the sum of all of these terms. So letter D is correct. Thanks for watching.